Hari Krishnan is an internationally acclaimed dancer, choreographer, teacher and dance scholar, and has been an important contributor to the Canadian dance scene for many years. He was born in Singapore into a family of dancers, musicians and artists. His first dance teacher was his father. From a very young age, I was uh, um, nurtured and I was uh, um, uh, presented with several opportunities to hear good music, to see good dancing, and to embrace a wide array of artistic environments, to be in a wide array of artistic environments. One is, uh, you, I think I guess I was uh, smitten with the arts bug <laughs> ever since I was a child. Hari studied under the legendary Kutapa Pile, one of the last great hereditary masters of Bharatanatyam, which is one of South India's most cherished classical dance forms. My serious professional dance training took place in South India. I'm very fortunate um, to specialize in a very rare form of South Asian dance. Um, it's from a community of courtesans called Devadasi. They were the original classical temple dancers who used to dance in the temples and who, who used to dance in the royal courts. My parents nurtured um, us to uh, embrace our artistic side, but always the focus was still on education. One of the conditions my parents um, uh, told me was to uh, study, to, uh, to pursue my dance full-time, I had to get a basic degree. In 1991, Hari came to Canada to study linguistics and Asian studies at the University of Manitoba. I fell in love with the uh, country, first of all, and with the people, and with the very broad-minded attitude in which world dance and music and the world arts were embraced in Canada, and the support, the support from national uh, and provincial uh, levels, um, and the support of the community at large, and the ability to share and to build bridges. Hari received his BA in Linguistics and Asian Studies. Then he moved to Toronto, and in 1999, he formed InDance, which has now become one of Canada's leading dance companies. Well, I think what's really important and exciting about what Hari is doing with his traditional work is bringing that into the present day and also involving his audiences. InDance is a multi-ethnic company that creates and performs new cutting-edge work that is rooted in South Indian classical dance and music. Though I was rooted in a very uh, traditional and classical sensibility, but within that, um, the, uh, the essence of that classicism was modernity. One of Indance's most popular works, Bollywood Hopscotch, is a light-hearted, whimsical and subversive take on Bollywood retro culture, as seen through the eyes of the Bollywood diva, who is simultaneously coy, vivacious, shy, tragic, melancholic, romantic, yet eternally happy. Prashwasa is, is a Sanskrit word for exhalations, to exhale, to breathe in and to uh, uh, breathe out, to exhale. There was a Sanskrit verse which I read, a 12th century Sans a Sanskrit verse, that linked the art of breathing with the art of moving. That particular verse gave me an inspiration to create exhalations. So it's a very stark work. It's a work done in silence, in which the only music is the breathing pattern of the dancers back and forth, inhaling and exhaling. Hari received his master's degree in dance from York University. And he is the world dance artist in residence at Wesleyan University in Connecticut. A respected teacher of Bharatanatyam dance, 
Hari is regularly invited to teach at universities and dance academies globally. For more than a decade, he's documented, translated, and analyzed the last vestiges of hereditary systems of dance in South India. Hari's received numerous performance and training grants and choreographic grants from various arts councils. His experimental and vintage choreographies continue to be performed at international venues. He's currently working with Canadian dance legend Margie Gillis, who is creating a solo for him. She is one of Canada's most um, important dancers, voice of, of artistic excellence and merit. And I'm thrilled, I'm so humbled that she has agreed to create a solo for me. Despite his very hectic schedule, Hari still finds time to teach dance at Dixon Hall to disadvantaged youth and provide support to organizations like the Tamil Children's Endowment Fund. In dance is one of um, uh, one of I think I think it is I think it's my child is my uh, baby because I've nurtured in dance from the very inception and it's it's wonderful to see how the company has grown. Um, within uh, Toronto, nationally within Canada, and also internationally. It's an achievement, but it's uh, wonderful to see that I've come full circle, the company has come full circle along with me, because what Canada has given me, I'm trying to give back, and I'm trying to showcase Canada as a multicultural uh, country internationally. I think you can make wonderful art, homegrown in uh, Canada, and uh, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, a wonderful feeling for me and my company to have achieved all this. I think Hari's a very deserving recipient of this award. He's touched so many people and so many lives, made them proud of who they are, 